Wow, are you a pink and black? <gasps> You're a beautiful... You are actually gorgeous. So if I'm not mistaken, and I've scheduled this correctly, then this would have been the last day of Turkey Trials. Or Turkey Trials finished yesterday. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So, because obviously we record a day in advance and stuff. But this is the last day of Turkey Trials. So what we've got to do is use all the wishbones we have and just create everything that we never got round to. So I want to do the skins for the structures, maybe a sweater and just any other bits and pieces we never got round to doing. And then what we're going to do is head into the redwoods today because i'm gonna get us a gigapithecus the the bigfoots the monkey dudes because i was playing around with the ice cave you know the big scary ice cave on single player trying to work out what creatures we can and can't fit in there now we can't fit filers which i know some of you did comment but obviously i had to go and test it anyway can't fit filers in there which sucks we can fit berries actually can we i can't if i tested berries but i don't want to take berries in there anyway what we can fit in, Deodons, Wolves, Bigfoots. So I'm thinking we take an army of pigs, Deodons, a handful of wolves because I tamed them for that reason. They might not be that great in there because they don't have a saddle, but I want to take some of them in. And I'm also going to take a couple Bigfoots because why the hell not? Let's let's go grab, like, let's just have a bunch of mammals in there doing some work so yeah we're gonna head into redwoods uh or you know maybe around the red redwoods and try and find a big foot before we do that though i am gonna go and play around with jim's giga i'm gonna move it around somewhere and i'm gonna set it on aggressive and it's just gonna eat shit now i'm gonna try and put it somewhere <laughs> where it's not gonna wreck me in syntax because i'm gonna unclaim it so it could be a problem for anyone hmm Maybe it can follow me to the Redwoods, because then that's away from everyone's base. And then whoever runs into it, it could just be a problem. I think that's going to be quite funny. So we're going to start off by, um, yeah, cracking open some stuff for the Turkey Trials. But before we do that, God, look at the eyes. Oh, I love it. Before we do that, let's whack a like on the video for my big fat belly just there. Uh, subscribe if you do. Ring the bell, never notifications. Follow social medias. Grab an Axeman hoodie. Get a server. Become a channel member. Become a patron. Join a sausage party. All of that stuff. If you do all of that, this dance is just for you. Just for you. If you didn't do any of that, then you just get a, a butt wiggle. And I also farted as well. And it, you had your mouth open and now you can taste it and it's disgusting. Anyways, right. Well, let's go and have a look at all of these goodies I got. So I ended up with 159 wishbones, which I think should be enough to get the majority of the stuff we want. It was a little bit of a grind, but we got there in the end. So I do want to make the turkey fryer skin and this skin, which I can't pronounce. We also have the just... Uh, how am, am I really not going to have that much stuff left over? Okay, so that... So I've got 60 left. Ooh. Um, okay, so... I mean, to be fair, that's good. Uh, we do have a turkey leg skin, which is for the club, which I don't care too much about. We've made all the hats. I didn't make the pumpkin pie hat, so I don't care too much about that. Um, I mean, we can make the bonnet. Uh, what am I going to miss out on? Let's get the ugly turkey target sweater skin for sure what else we got um dodo's revenge i want one of them and then we do have a, a shirt dodo rex or murder turkey let's get a dodo rex okay um underwear wise i mean i got the one i wanted do i really want the bonnet i mean we could just make a whole bunch of chibis but i'm sure they're going to be coming back for the winter wonderland but mate what happens if they don't i want them all uh, you know what? I'm going to make this pumpkin pie hat skin. All right, so we've got the emote. We've got the two skins. We've got some sweaters. We've got the hat. Do we just go and make seven rare ones? I'm definitely not missing out on anything I want. Do I want a shirt? Did I make the shirt? You know what? Let's get a shirt. Let's get the Dead Direct shirt. And then we'll make six of these. And I think I can make one of them. Okay, that's it. That's all the wishbones done. All right, here we go. So we're going to see... We've got six rare ones. Let's see what we get. Quetzal. Don't like that at all. <laughs> First one's a bad one. Mosa. Not a huge fan of the water chibis. Next up. UT. Okay, I am interested in that one. That could be cool. Then we have UT times two. Amazing. And then we have a filer. We actually got a filer last time. So we'll see if we get any good colors on that. Um, oh, we got the chibi turkey. Hell yeah, boys. That's actually sick. That's cool. And we've got an Anki. I do like the Anki. Okay. Right. Let's grab 
all of this stuff then. And let's see what we're working with here. All right. So that's pretty much everything needed. Oh, uh, oh no, we do have a cooking pot still. Sick. I thought I broke that for some reason. Um, all right. So we've got the friendly gesture emote. All right. Apparently this isn't so friendly, but we'll see. Uh, okay. So turkey trials friendly. Okay. Uh, oh, God. No. Right. Huh. I don't know what that is. What am I doing? Okay. Is that meant to be friendly or not friendly? Is that is that an insult in some part of the world? I don't really know what that means. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Apparently it's friendly, but people tell me it's not friendly. Um, Alright, let's try our shirt on. Uh, oh, I put that down there. Okay, there we go. Right, let me put my mask on. Then we can put the shirt on. And this is... <laughs> It's the Dodo Rex with a bonnet on. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Look at me in my little Hawaiian shirt. All right, let's put a sweater on. So we've got Ugly Dodo's Revenge or the Ugly Turkey. Let's try the Ugly Turkey first. Oh, actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. That's really cool. That's funner. That is actually really fun. I like the leaves on it. I like the color of it as well. That's amazing. Okay, that's kind of cool. Is that a new one? Because I don't recall ever seeing that. And then what was this one? The ugly dodo one? <laughs> oh, it's a Rex. And then is a dodo going to eat the Rex? Is that what it is? And then we're covered in acorns. That's kind of a cool one as well. I still look fat. Why does my guy still look fat? Do I look fat in a shirt? No, not well, uh, a little. Not that bad. I look more muscular. Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so we have the pumpkin pie hat. Wait, does that jiggle? Oh, it jiggles. Oh, it jiggles so much. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. I just love jiggly stuff. Okay. That's kind of amazing, to be fair. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, all right. Let's pop you back on. Looking amazing. So we've got these skins. Let's do the skins before we do the chibis. So, um, I'm not sure how we do this. So, you can use this skin. You can use this to skin the appearance of a cooking pot to look like a turkey deep fry. Always fry responsibly. So, do I just pop that in? Uh, no. Do I have to like use it? Place. Oh, place it. Maybe? Place. Oh! Oh, do I have... Wait, do I keep them? Oh! Okay, I mean, that looks sick. I I am so happy they're doing this. So we're going to get, like, event item skins. And kind of like with Scorched Earth, we're going to get, like, an adventure pack. Kind of like Conan Exiles, I believe. So we should be able to, like, skin the foundations or skin doors and stuff. Yo, that's kind of fire. I actually like that a lot. All right, what's this thing then? A, a feeding trough? Uh, you can use this to skin the appearance of a feeding trough or tech. Um, all right, well, we actually have one just here. So, go place. Whoa. I wish I had this earlier. Because we're going to go into... Can I... Oh, I wish I turned out the other way around. Because we're going to go into the winter one, and that's not going to look very wintry, but that's definitely full. That looks really good. The corn and all the pumpkins and stuff. That actually looks really good. What happens if I take all the food out? Oh, it goes empty. Ha! That's sick. All right. Well, they're the skins. I, I actually really like this one. That's actually really cool. And then we just keep these and we can just skin any of them. Yeah, I, I do like this. This one's really good. Hell yeah, boys. Okay, uh, next up then, we've got all the chibis. So let's have a look at the UT. Oh, we got pink on it. We got pink on it, boys. Oh, I want a UT like that. Yo. Okay, he's gorgeous. He is actually gorgeous. That might be one of my favorites we've got. Uh, second UT. Why did you go over there? 
Okay, he's got a bit of blue on him. Okay, not as good as the pink one. The pink one is fire. All right, I'm going to save the turkey to the end. Uh, let's pop the Anki on. I do love a good anchor. Oh, he's got... You know what? I'm getting really lucky, or maybe all chibis just have a lot of pink and purple on them. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's got a big head. Oh, I like that. He's got, like, pinky, purpley spikes. He's cute. I like the Anki. The Anki's really good. Um, all right, let's do the second fire. So we've already got a filer. We got one last episode. But he is purple. And black. And that is amazing. Okay, that's way better than the file we had. Let's do the dumb Quetzal. I really don't like the art Quetzal. Really not for me. Looks way better as a tiny version, though. I do like his big noggin and his massive huge hair. Yeah, Quetzal isn't, isn't my cup of tea. Uh, the Mosa, again, I don't really like the water chibis because the giant bubble. And why is he so skinny? Ew, no. It doesn't look right. He looks anorexic. He needs to eat. Mozart, eat some food, please. Oh, no, I don't like that one. No, that one's awful. <laughs> I want him chunky. Be chunky like the shark. All right. Uh, that's all of them, right? Then we just do the turkey. Uh, boom. Hell yeah. Look at him. And the turkey. Got a blue one. Okay. He's kind of cool looking. He looks just like me. Look at it. We're like twins. I bet you can't even tell which one I am and which one the chibi is, right? I wish they made it so we could tame the super turkeys. That would be cool. Maybe, like, if you kill a certain amount, you get an item to tame one. That would have been neat. Um, all right. Boom. Sweet. So I'm going to probably need a box with my cosmetics in at some point. Which right now, I'm just kind of storing stuff in here. So I can put all these in here. We'll put the turkey one up, actually. The turkey one can go up. Uh, I kind of like the anglerfish because it does act as a light. I don't like the overwraps, though. I know you was one of the first ones we got, but I don't care for you at all. Boom. We have a turkey in there. Sweet. Hell yeah, boys. All right. Uh, let's go chug. We'll just chuck them away. All right. Let's go sort out this giga. Uh, this is going to be very scary to do. Right. What, I'm th what we should do... Yeah, because I want to move them over that way. Okay, let me get stuff ready and set up for taming the monkey. Because I have no idea what kibble that needs. Let's go and find out with good old Google. All right, regular kibble is what they need. Uh, so these are passive tames. Uh, you just sneak up behind them and pop a little thing in the butt. Should I maybe grab some ghillie suits? That might be a good idea, right? Uh, right, so arms, head, shirt, legs. I'm uh, missing boots. Boots. All right, yeah, let's pop that on instead. That might be a good idea. Let's become a bush, but also a turkey bush. Boom. There we are. Uh, okay, and um, we'll chuck this armor in here because that's my armor I normally wear. Did I not put the boots on? God damn it, axe. There we go. Put them in there. All right, sweet. So what we're going to do, let's go get the Giga. We're going to walk the Giga over to the Redwoods. Who do I want to take out today? Cove or Poop Fart? Cove. Because Cove's going to retire soon, so let's make the use, most use of them. So we're going to have to put the Giga on aggressive, then unclaim him, which means he's going to become aggressive to us, and then, like, run and get out of there. So hopefully Cove doesn't die. So that's why... Ooh. Wow, are you a pink and black... You're a beautiful... You are actually gorgeous. Oh my god. Um, Right, I I might have to tame that. Right, Giga, can you come over here a minute? Thank you. I'm going to just need you out of the way. Might have to tame that RG. Just for the colours. You're going to be very... How did Jib get this dude over here? Because he is just a pain to get about on. Okay. Can you come down here, please? I think I could shoot him. And of course it stopped. We got him, though. I am a, I'm a god. I'm sometimes scared about how good I am at this game. Um. Um. Uh, let's not have you hit me, because otherwise that gig is going to come and eat your butt. 
And we're good. Nice. Yeah, this might be my favorite Courage I've ever seen. I know we saw like some good blue and blacks and I think we saw a red and black one, but this is pink and black. I love them colors together. Oh, this wasn't... Oh, you're nearly dead. Uh, you'll be fine with one more, right? And one more for good luck. Can you not fly that way? Because that's where Hynodons normally are. And Raptors. All right, it's out. All right, let's kill off all of these. And then I'll go and grab some cable, pop it in, and then we should be able to leave it. Then again, they don't take too long to tame up, right? Kill all this. Surprise RG tame today, because it was amazing. All right, uh, you babies can survive. So it's like black, and then it's got pink, but like, it fades into the blue on the tips of the wings. That's amazing. All right, Hynodons, you all need to get out of here. Look at them all in a pack. All right. Try and kill a bunch of you. Then you shouldn't go after me, Arjun, when I leave it. Just gonna get the kibble and stuff. No, 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 no. We're not going over here. And you. I do not trust these guys at all. I love, I love a Hynodon. But not a wild one. All right, let me go grab some RG kibble because I don't know what that is. And wait for that bad boy to be tamed. All right, boys, our RG's tamed up. I'm just going to get them home real quick before anything happens. And then we can have another look at the beautiful colors on this. I'll also just check its stats. Uh, what is this? Why? Okay, that's what you get for trying to enter the base. Okay, I thought they were shooting at me. RG then scared the crap out of me. We'll also see if we can breed this with Pidgeotto. Uh, cause that'd be kind of cool. I'd love Pidgeot with, like, Pidgeot's stats, but these colors. That'd be amazing. All right, you dismiss a minute. Can you land? Okay. Uh, I'd like you to have landed right where you was. I mean, that also works. You land there? Maybe? Come on, you, you're practically there. All right, I might have to... Oh, there we go. We got it. Let me just move you a wee bit closer so I can just up between the two of yous. All right, so you're a male. You're also a male. Okay, so we're going to have to breed with probably like Hawk or something. Um, so you're a 266. Were you max level? Why did you look at me like that? Um, I mean, we've leveled you up, so it's kind of hard to tell. But let's have a look at this. So you're a 194, 2400 health. We don't really use RGs to fight. Pidgeo, do you want to be retired? And this one becomes the new one because this is gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to borrow your saddle for a hot second. Don't worry. You can have it back. I know you love the pink on it. I mean, like, imagine us not being stuck there. Flo yeah, boys. Okay, I am going to get this. Bred up strong up in these colors. Holy crap, that's gorgeous. That might be one of my favorite wild colored diners I've ever seen. Apart from, like, Cupcake, because obviously Cupcake was a wild colors originally. Wow. All right, so what they'll do is I'll breed them with whoever's up here then. So, oh, God. So, Hawk was a female. This was a female 206. Okay, so they've... Okay, so I don't remember who was higher level. I'll probably just breed them with Hawk anyway. Yeah, Dad's going to be... Oh, that's going to be amazing. All right, I'll do that in my spare time. As well as breeding every other single creature I've got in this freaking base. I've got to now need to do Deodons, Rexes, Baryonyx, Wolves, Megatheriums, Verizinos. Yeah, that that's everything we're breeding right now. That's, that's crazy. Uh, all right, let's pop this back onto you. There you go, keep warm. All right, we need to now go grab our Giga and walk him around the base. I don't want him walking through the base. Maybe around the beach. And make our way to the Redwoods. Alright, boys. Made it to the Redwoods slash Swamp Area. I think this is where we're going to unleash the Giga. Jim's Mr. Giga. So, I, I, I don't know how Jim managed to get us from one side of the map to the other. Because this dude gets stuck on every single tiny tree there is. Uh, his following is terrible. I don't know, man. Uh, you'll also see he's very hurt. He ran into a turkey and the turkey did a number on him. We, <laughs> I was going to kill the turkey, but in the end I had to leave it. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, let me... Can I just get hop off of you? Let me level you up. Um, melee. Yeah, let's just do melee there. So, I need to put you on aggressive. 
I then need to unclaim you and then need to run for my life. Oh, I also wanted to rename you, actually. Should we have a... Let's rename it something so if someone spy glasses it. It's like, kill me if you can. Let's call it that. Okay. Uh, oh, there, there's a turkey again. No! I don't want to fight the turkey. Although you are doing a big amount of damage to it. Oh, we've got a bear after us now. I didn't want to fight the turkey. He actually damaged us a lot. And the Giga might not survive. If we get the headshots, it's okay. Um, are you even like... The Giga's like nearly half health. Okay, the turkey's nearly dead. Well, we might have a few uh, extra wishbones to do some chibis at the end, if I remember then. I guess that's a positive. Uh, okay. So, I'm doing ADA. He's doing 130. That seems pretty decent. Are you even remotely nearly dead, Mr. Turkey? I think this might kill the Giga. Which would be hilarious, actually. And if it does, then it does. There's no way. You're going to rage soon as well, though, right, Mr. Giga? It's not even like... Are you even bloody, Mr. Turkey? I don't think you are. Um. Okay. The Giga might die to a turkey. That means we can't put it on aggressive and let it do its thing anymore. That's ridiculous. What you're, you're telling me a turkey is stronger than a Giga? All right, if you say so. I can't believe this Giga's not raged. That's crazy. Um. It's gonna die. It is going to die. The turkey is not showing any signs of blood. You normally see the tail feathers, like, break apart. I'm not seeing that. I mean, I'm not seeing much because we've got a big gigas foot here. Um, I mean, Giga, can you move your foot a minute? Yeah, I think the Giga's going to die. Oh, no, it's close. Its feathers are breaking apart. Who's going to die first, though? Oh, my God, bears. Okay, bear's dead. All right, let's keep on it. It's going to kill the Giga. It's going to kill the Giga. A turkey's going to kill the Giga. That's ridiculous. Uh... <laughs> There's no way. Okay, can I stab you with this? I cannot. Okay, interesting. Um, Can I maybe... I mean, I want to kill you now. I don't have a shotgun on me or anything. Uh, oh, God. I did not mean to do that. Cove, yeah, you do your business then. Is this helping at all? I feel like I'm just hitting... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Right. Uh, oh, God. It's going for me. We're doing 400 damage. Cove, get back. All right, Bremen Guinea Mass. All right, we got it. We got it. Good shit, everyone. Well done. Wow. Five wish bones. That's five chibis we can get. <laughs> Okay, that was Summit. Good job, everyone. Okay, well, now we're here. And the Giga's dead. I can't believe the Giga died. That's hilarious. So, yeah, that plans out the window. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and look for a Gigantopithecus. I was calling him a Gigapithecus. It's a gig Gigantopithecus. Bigfoot. They knock about here. Um, ideally, male and a female high level. But I don't mind just grabbing one today and coming back for another one at some point. And obviously, we just got to watch out we don't get eaten by a filer. But I'm also on the lookout for a good filer. Because once we get another UT, we can then come back and get us a nice filer. Well, here's first monkey. And it's a female. Level 20. Okay. So, unfortunately, you are not the one we're looking for. All right. I think I'm going to head a little bit further in. There's another one just... Okay. Yes, please. Hello, Mr. Terrorbird. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, oh, God, look at this. We've been micro-wrapped a few times. Um, right, I've got enough kibble for this, right? What is that? Oh, it's a Trudon. Why did you stand up weird then? Okay, so... My call here. Okay, let's try this. It's been a while since we've uh, passively tamed anything. Okay, so what we do, we uh, crouch down like this. And I'm going to shove this kibble 
up his butt. And apparently that's going to make him like me. So let's go. Maybe stay. You have to get very close without like touching him. Oh god, now this bush is in the way. Okay, he's going to turn around and see a weird... Huh. Is it break? Am I got the wrong kibble? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, wow. 31% already? Holy crap, okay. So I only need three of these? No, am I going to need four? Yeah, I'm just going to need four. Okay. So I'm going to guess it's going to be like the Bastio where this feed and the next feed are going to be like <laughs> 10 minutes. And then after that, it's every 30 seconds or so. So I'm just going to let him do his thing because Cove needs to heal up a little. So let's... You get shit on, Pego. Can we grab some fish? Is there any fish in here? Yes, there is. Oh, no, 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 no. Raptors, you dicks. Okay. Is there another one? Oh, there is. All right, the raptors ruined our taming. Dude's mad at me. All right, you can beat him up, right, Mr. Monkey? Oh, God. I'm off done. Dead. All right, he's nearly dead. Titties. Okay. I was literally just about to go and feed him, and some raptors ran out. No, no, no. Don't you be eating him. Okay. So now I've just got away from to Diagro. That's the downside of the Redwoods. It's just a nasty place. Um, I don't know how he's going to heal himself. Just time heals all, I guess. How long until he's not aggro into me? What are we chasing? I wonder if that makes him hungry, though. At least we've got a tracker on him, which is good. Where are you going? Can we maybe go back to where it was safe? No, Scorpion. Okay. I'm hoping we don't get a bad luck team like last time out. With the UT. Oh, now we've got bugs. Okay, this this isn't good. Um, Is it worth maybe picking him up and taking him home? Are the bugs going to get him? I need him to just stop being big mad. His health's going up, which is good. Um, What can pick him up? Because we could potentially pick him up and take him just somewhere better. Because this is a 150. This is a max level. Uh, am I good to just Google? I mean, surely we and RG pick that up, right? I think we'll be fine. If that tracker stays there... That's great. Are you after me now? He is so mad. All right, moment of tr oh no 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 sir sir sir. God damn it! No 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 no! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! Did you get him? Oh! <laughs> he nearly died. He nearly died. How bloody is he? Oh yeah, he is so close to death. Holy shit! There we go. <laughs> I know we've not done cake in a while. Have some gorilla cake. Wow. If we'd have arrived a little bit later, I think he'd have died. All right. Uh, where's best placing? Because if I get him too close to base, the um, plant species are going to get him. I think if we pop him to the old base, like not the first base, but the second base that's near our new base, <laughs> I think he should be safe there. This spot just down here is what we're looking for. See, it's, it's pretty nice and open. I didn't get too many bad things, so I should be able to just drop you. Are you aggro to me? Um, yes, because there's battle music. But he's running away again. It's a very weird guy. All right, he's walking now. Nope, he's he's running. There is a Trudon over there. A Trudon's going to bite you. you no, know actually. I don't trust that area with them Trudons now. Can we have you down here on the beach? Why is everywhere dangerous? I need somewhere that's not dangerous. Take him all the way to Herbivore Island. Okay, this, is, this looks good. Alright, so if I just fly up... 
that's going to de-aggro you, right? You'll stay down there. Jesus Christ. I don't like a nuclear missile just shot up into space. Alright. I think now we might be good. Alright, you land. There, Pidgeotto. Let me go and try this. Okay. Okay, so we've got to make sure we're behind him. I'm going to just walk over here. I'm going to just breathe in all of his stinky ass. Boom. Okay. Nice. So now, just make sure he doesn't aggro onto you. Because for some reason, they like to just walk close to your teams. I would like to put you on top of a rock, but I know if he comes to attack me, there's no way I'm escaping him. I reckon this will be alright, though. Okay. Sick. Amazing. God, look how bad my costume is. Oh, like my eyes cracked. That sucks. Uh, this should be it now, maybe. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Okay, okay. Trying to get close to him. <laughs> Just watching his booty right now. And... Hey, there we go. Big monkey man. Oh, God. Hey, you know what looked really cool on you? Do I have it on me? We need to go and put the Axe Man mask onto you. And then we can have me with the mask, mini axe, a shoulder pair, and him, and just have like a big totem pole of it all. Hell yeah, boys. Okay, so, uh, max level. Dude, uh, 3,200 health. Obviously, if we're taking him into the cave, gonna need to find a female, gonna need to breed him up. Also gonna need a really good helmet, because that acts like as armor like as a saddle but yeah they they might do all right uh let's just pick you up and take you home i do want to see like how strong you actually are i don't really play around with these much but if we had these the wolves and the pigs all in that cave you've got the pigs which have high health heal things the wolves with the high attack and then maybe these with like a nice balance so we've got attack health slash defense and then these dudes Right, let's go and see what armor helmets we have. We do helmets. Uh, 64. I felt like... Oh, yeah, there it is. 235. Did we get a good blueprint one? I can't remember if we did or not. Let's go and see what this looks like. And then we'll put the Axeman skin on you as well. So there's Mr. Monkey just there. We're going to pop that onto you. Amazing. Uh, what am I? Am I hungry? I should probably go and put his kibble away as well. Okay, so he's got a big old noggin. Now, what if I was to put this on you? Okay. Um, terrifying. But kind of cool. Okay. I mean, imagine I had that on and Miniax was on my lap and not inside of me. And then a shoulder pair had it on. Anything kind of cool. All right, let me just go and wax him on his head. Oh, don't we throw me as well? What is it? Right click. We Oh, God. That was really far. Ow. Okay. <laughs> but that was really good. I I'm impressed. You threw me all the way over there. You are so strong. Also, look at them nipples. <laughs> God damn. All right. Let's go find us something to punch. We'll also have some damages a little bit as well. To so maybe just see how much damage things will be doing. The downside to the helmet is it does have durability, don't it? It's not like the saddles. Are they really... They're not meant to anyway. So nine damage. Okay. I nearly crapped my pants thing, so I thought that was normal damage. We are nearly doing 200, though. Without imprint. So 393 with the headshot. Oh, no. 131, so I thought that was a 191. Okay. So with the imprint, we're probably getting close to 200. Which is decent. Uh, can I climb up here? Of course I can't. All right. Is that a pink Anki? Hello. Wait, where are you gone? 15. That sucks. Uh, what level is this Rex? A 10. Okay. I want to go and help kick everyone's booty over here. So I definitely will get a female one of these at some point. Uh, before we do the ice cave. We need a female UT. And I've just got to keep breeding stuff. And then we're pretty much ready for the ice cave. We're going to do that last. Obviously, we've got the swamp cave coming up very soon. Just got a few more mutations needed on the berries. But 
having a little army of Daydons, Wolves, and Bigfoots, Gorilla Men might be kind of cool. Especially because we don't really take armies of dinos in the snow cave. You just have to, like, breathe them inside. I think be, this could be kind of fun. Do we do a sea attack? Oh, yeah, we picked stuff off the ground. <laughs> um, I'm struggling to hit these guys. They're mate boosted as well. Okay, sick. Uh, I can shoot off the back of you, right? Let's change that to that. And this is how we deal with them. Hey, up! Get shit on. All right, we're going to have to kill all these RGs because there is a baby Kano all alone. And we've not adopted a baby in a long time. It was only the Stego and the Trike. So I feel like we should grab this Kano and take it home. The reason we built this ranch... Can you stop healing and eating stuff? It's really annoying. How are you only level 25 but you're not dead yet? God, I hate fighting RGs. I re <laughs> really hate fighting them. Because you're just going to keep eating that and healing every time I shoot you. Yep, sick. Amazing. So them last four darts pretty much didn't matter at all. All right. This is the last RG I'm fine today. I am stuck! God damn it. Okay. Better? Nice. All right. Lil Kano? Why we got rave disco line going on? You are going to come with me. Level 50. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. There we go. Giant turkey, man. It's now your dad. Follow me. I'm going to take you home. And you can live with the other adoptees. Adoption dinos. I don't know what they're called. What? What is the light doing? I'm like a little rave or something. That's awful. All right, Mr. Carno, just across this bridge is where the Stego and the Trike live. So I guess you're going to live up here with these. This is where all of our adopted dinos live. And boom, you stay there. I'll go and grab you some meat. Let's just have a look. You do not like mutate or anything. Level 50. No, no mutations. Sick. All right. I'll get you some food shortly. So we now have a male monkey. We've got Daydons. We've got wolves. We're getting closer. Every day we get a little bit closer. All right. You stay just there. Kof, do you have them wishbones? I nearly forgot that. You do have them. Perfect. We're going to grab five more chibis actually, ain't we, before the end of the episode. Because we're going to have no use for these. Yeah, there's definitely some weird line effects. I'm probably going to have to restart the game because we're just glistening everywhere. Okay, we're just going to do regular ones. Oh, I have eight. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We're doing eight. We're doing eight. I forgot I had a few more left over. Eight more chibis. Let's see. Mephipisficus. Dunkley. Ugh, okay. Good old Dunkley. Ooh, jellyfish might be kind of fire, to be fair. Uh, ooh, Archeroptix. Okay. That's... We're getting good. Terabad. We're not getting very many doubles as well. What was that? Terabad did I say? Okay. I say that and we get an Overaptor. Well, we might as well have a look at what colors we get on it. And a frog. We already have a frog. But again, we'll check the colors. And a Megalodon. Hey, we actually spoke about the Megalodon. All right. Let's quickly just fly through these. So we'll just start randomly. So we've got the Terabad to begin with. Again, looks like we've got a bit of purple on it. Amazing. All right. It just looks like a standard Terabad. Over Raptor. He's stuck in a rock. Hang on, because he looks like an albino one. Can you come over here? There we go. Okay. That's kind of fire. We've got like an albino one. Uh, let's do the Mesopithecus. Oh, look at his head. Okay, he kind of looks adorable. He looks like a little plush. Let's do the Megalodon, which if I'm not mistaken is a big chunky boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what the Mosa needed to look like, man. God damn it. Uh, right, Dunkley. Is he going to be chunky? Oh, he's big. Ooh. Ooh, the black and the the green looks like a little mint. Uh, I'm going to save the jellyfish till the end, because I think he's going to be real good. Uh, I've got another frog. Uh, yep, another chunky boy. i uh, got the Archeroptics. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, okay, the yellow and the red. Fair enough. I like him. And last but not least... Jellyfish, which I believe will glow like the anglerfish. Oh, yeah. That was kind of spicy. I like that. All right, sweet. Okay, well, for reals now, we can uh, wrap it up and call it a day. So if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you whack a like. Make sure you subscribe and you ring the bell and have notifications. Thank you for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later. Bye. Uh, oh, and need to give me my butt wiggle. There we go. Hey, see you later.